Hello friends and welcome back to Do News. I'm doing a quick update on the Coinbase uh, GDAC situation. Uh, by now it's not breaking news, uh, but I've been watching it happen live today. Um, I've been hearing reports from basically lots of people that I know, a lot of people that are on this channel, um, getting emails and texts. It's just blowing up. And um, it's pretty fascinating because it happened right at my lunchtime, and so I basically saw it happen. Um, pretty incredible. Essentially, um, some whale out there, if you're not familiar with what's going on, decided to sell everything. Everything. Uh, the GDAX, uh, if you can see my screen, um, and I'll try to zoom in for you, but the GDAX essentially, if you can see it getting bigger over here on the right side, you can see that it went all the way from a basically $400 to a penny. No joke guys, on Reddit people are reporting like crazy that they were able to pick up Ethereum. Literally pick up their Ethereum for basically nothing. Basically, people saying eight cents and three cents and just silly things like, why was their order still left there? But what if I told you some people are reporting that they accidentally did the opposite and they had a stop loss that's been sitting on the GDAX for, oh, I don't know, maybe years now? And they sold all their Ethereum for eight cents. This is why we don't put your money on the exchange, guys. This is why we do not do this. <laughs> for little tactical errors and mistakes. Uh, you could, some people may call that negligence. Fascinating. But some people made a lot of money. Or did they? We're going to have to wait and find out how this pans out. My imagination can run wild with the possibilities, and one that I like to imagine is, well, maybe the whale hit the wrong button. Maybe. Maybe they accidentally sold everything, and they immediately called Coinbase and asked them to reverse everything, like it was a giant accident. And so all these transactions will be reversed. What if this was actually someone running away with ICO money and it's a scam? Some scam out there that they cashed out all at once. They said, I am out. But that one's less likely. Because if you're using Coinbase and the amount of information that they have, I don't think you would do that. So here we are. Wondering still what in the world's going on. Uh, we have our good friends over at Coinbase with a status update um, just an hour ago. And they're continuing to say that Ethereum transactions continue to, to be backlogged. This is actually in reference to the status ICO more than it is to what happened on their exchange. There's a lot of people right now who have uh, transactions on every exchange and even personal transactions. Tons of people are waiting for the blockchain to sort itself out. Today is not a day um, for the Ethereum team to be proud of what is going on. Was there an attack? Maybe. Are these incidents related? Maybe. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's extremely fascinating to me, guys. Um, so if you guys are interested in following the story, you can just go ahead and go over to status.coinbase.com. You'll kind of get updates there on what's going on. And uh, I'll continue to follow this story, obviously. I'm sure most of you are, especially most of you in North America as Coinbase is likely your go-to. But um, all that being said, guys, um, super exciting. Crazy times. 
Crazy, crazy times. This whole thing is just unbelievable. Um, Ethereum has recovered nicely price-wise. Last I checked um, from where it was uh, around the $300 mark. I do apologize. I said 400 when I opened this video. Let me correct myself. I'm sure someone will leave a comment. Um, uh, it actually was around $300 when this basically bottomed out today. So I apologize for that. Um, but it looks like uh, the prices are already up. We'll jump over to coin market cap real quick. And uh, you can see that Ethereum is 337 right now. We'll go ahead and take a look at the different markets. Um, of course, we want to ignore the GDAX. And uh, you can see that uh, it's actually quite over, all over the place. Polonex typically reports improperly um, because of the uh, tether. And so that's what's always interesting about this particular um, uh, evaluation or valuation of Ethereum is there's so many exchanges with so many different prices, but um, things are looking okay. Uh, you know, it's not the end of the world or anything here today, guys. So um, no sweat. Now, Partially what's going on here is a lot of these discrepancies in prices is money is locked up on a lot of exchanges right now. Ethereum wallets are just like stopped. Um, and so that's the world that we live in right now. Um, a lot of people have their Ethereum locked up somewhere, unable to access it, uh, unable to use it. The complete opposite of the entire concept of what's going on here. So, this does not bode well in the short term at all for Ethereum. Are they working on scalability issues um, and solutions for those issues? Yes. Absolutely. They are working really hard. What does this mean, though, in the short term? Well, it means there may be some people that start considering other blockchain solutions that didn't before. Some people are going to second guess themselves. There's likely to be some blood in the streets um, somewhere. There's likely to be some gains um, elsewhere. We'll just have to wait and see, guys. Um, and just while we're at it, as a response to everything going on, Bitcoin almost unfazed from all of the chaos. And I'm really just flipping through here looking for a double digit. Ant shares is up on this. That's not a surprise. Not at all. Because everyone says Ant shares is the Ethereum. The Chinese equivalent of Ethereum. Um, not surprised that it's up. You know, the one that I would that I'm actually really surprised is not up is Lisk, based on this news very very surprising uh, just because of the technology and the things like that uh, a lot of people believe that it's a, going to be a competitor of Ethereum um, I shouldn't say competitor but more of an alternative Stratus another one why isn't Stratus up right now someone tell me why, that, why Stratus is not up so anyhow guys uh, I won't keep you much longer. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. Um, I'll be working on the news here uh, for you guys, as always. But there's a quick update. Uh, keep you informed with what's going on in case you're on the road, on vacation. Summer vacation is here uh, in the United States. Um, so, anyhow, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, upvote, all the things. Head over to Steam it. I've seen a lot of you guys come on Steam it. Um, Steam it just had a hard fork, and it's super exciting, guys. You need to come on over to Steam it. It's really exciting right now. Um, it plays that place is popping. Place is popping. What's Steam at right now after all of this chaos? Um, Buck ninety seven. Not really. Not really uh, affected. Let's see if I can find the st Steam dollars. Some Steam back dollars. not even the top 100 hmm. well um that's pretty much it so there's your update guys uh just kind of on the fly got home from work i've uh, been following the story best i can 
and uh, just kind of wanted to show the people who haven't got to see it. Um, let this be a reminder to you all. Do not trade on margin. A lot of people uh, bought and sold on margin today. And I'll be saying that again in my news channel. So if you miss it here, I'm going to say it again and again. There were people who have lost everything that they've made in cryptocurrency in an instant. Uh, who knows if they'll ever get it back? Who knows if they're going to reverse what happened here on the exchange today? We'll have to wait and see. If they didn't, I can't only imagine the type of USD payout this is going to be. This is ridiculous. Somebody's going to be cashing out the maximum amount every single day for the rest of their life. <laughs> That is an insane amount of money, guys. Anyhow, fascinating day. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you again soon. As always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you soon.